Hello, Kati. Good morning. Good morning, teacher. Hey, how are you? I'm fine. I'm a little tired. But oh, I'm fine. Yes. Um, good. Uh, would you like to take the exam now? Or are you ready? Well, you, you have to, because everybody is done. <laughs> And ready to upload the grades. Mm -hmm. uh, but the exam uh, is uh, is writing or, or well, you haven't taken the written test yet. Okay. Yes. I, so we I'm have. Ready. Um. Uh. Well, today the, you know the oral is gonna be just like a couple of questions, something easy. Okay. Well, I guess you don't have any trouble, any issues with the, the or I'll just, just, it's just the, the written. Give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, the link, it's on the, on Zoom. Okay. And then you have, you need a, you need a password. Um, what is the password? Who is the password? One, two, three. Okay, thank you. All right. Hello, good morning, Andrea. Are you there? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. I guess you are the new student that teacher Mar told me about, right? Is this, your, is this your first time here, right? Uh, right, yes. Okay, can you introduce yourself to us, please? Just some information to know who you are. I know you are coming from another class, but we would like to know you. Like introduce yourself, who you are, where you're from, and what you're studying. You're, you're studying English. Can you do it? Yes. Yeah. You can start now, Andrea. Uh, okay, uh, I I study English in English class, uh, but in presential class. Uh huh. Uh, uh, I uh, I live in Acapulco. All right. Mm -hmm. I I am two, 19 years old. And my my full name is Andrea Paricio Fuentes. Oh, nice. Okay, good to meet you. Welcome. Uh, are you here just for a few classes or you want to stay with us? Uh, Do you know? I mean, is you going to stay in this class online or are you going to go back to the presential, the face-to-face -face class? Uh, online, face. 
an online class. All right. Are you with teacher Jesus, right? Or you were? Right. Yes. Okay, great. Yes. The same level, right? Touchdown two or touchdown one? No, touchdown two, one, two. Okay, what lessons are you seeing? Or you uh, were one, two, and three. Okay, because we finished lesson one, two, and three already. We have actually Kathy, your classmate now is taking a test because she missed the test last week. So okay. we just one, two, and three, and we are starting lesson. Well, actually, we, we start. We started lesson, uh, I mean, unit four uh, last week. Okay. So we used the opener, the opening. We we start talking about the uh, celebrations, kind of celebrations, um, and we start. Besides the topic, celebrations in general, right? We have uh, like weddings, birthdays. Uh, we have anniversaries, graduations, retirement parties, etc. Okay. We have the before you begin, you know, you know, the same, the usual. Uh, today we're going to start with lesson A, because we didn't have time to finish. We start late last time. Uh, birthday, when is your birthday, uh, Andrea? Uh, my birthday is uh, 26 uh, August. August 26? Yes. Few months, two months. Yes. Nice. You're gonna be twenty. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> well, so you're twenty years old. Mm. How do you celebrate your birthday? How do you usually celebrate your birthday? I don't know. I eat cake <laughs> with yet. my family. No plans yet. No. Like a party or something, or something, a getaway, like a, going to going to another place, to another city. Mm, maybe a cake. A cake. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, great. Well, that's the way you celebrate your birthday. That's the usual way, right? Use a cake. Some people. How do other people? celebrate their birthday. Do you have any other idea? How do the other people celebrate their birthday? What do they do? With a party. A party, right? Mm. Okay, what else they can do? So, okay, it's my birthday. I don't want a party. What else you can do? Mm. Travel. Yes, you can travel. Instead of spending the money, right? Spending the money in a party, you can go to somewhere else. Traveling is one of the other pleasures. Traveling. Mm. All right. Uh, Kathy, are you going to... Um, well, I don't want to interrupt Kathy. She's taking the test. The exam. Do you do you do the exam, uh, Andrea? You I know. My phone. Andrea. Uh, no, no, I don't do. No, I don't exam. I don't. You haven't taken the exam. No. I don't take the exam. But you finish a unit one, two, and three. Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, would you like to take the exam? Yes. I mean, it's just about the unit because you stay with us in this class, of course, for the evaluation, right? You will need a grade. Mm, yes. So. I don't, 
That's why I was asking you if, if, if it was temporary, you stay here, like yes, for, for this class or for the, the next one. So I am asking you, uh, is you ready to take an exam? Okay. Oh, you can do it tomorrow. If you're not ready, you can do it tomorrow. So you can plan. Well, you don't have to plan because it's something that you already saw. You you took those uh, those lessons. But let's continue, let's do something. Let's continue with the class and you let me know later, okay? Okay. We'll continue talking about uh, birthdays. Okay. As you can see here, uh, in birthdays, we have a calendar, right? We usually mark <laughs> calendars with some holidays, uh, celebrations, anniversaries, um, etc. So we have the months, days of the months. I hope you remember those, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Give me one second, please. Can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. yes. Try to remember the months the name of the months with the audio, please. So you don't have, well, you can repeat with your open January. microphone or okay. you can close it either way. <clears throat> January. January. March. March. April. April. May. May. June. June. July. July. August. August. Yeah, that's the man you were you were born. August. <laughs> yeah. August. Sounds like uh, oh. August. Uh, you know, August. You know, August. August. This sounds August. I'm sorry, this August. sounds August. 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 Yeah, sounds like a T at the end. August. August. September. September. October. 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 December. 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 Okay. January. January. This goes here. As you see, they don't go in the same sequence. Some sometimes. It is because sometimes we we uh, we try to learn the months like January, February, March, like a song, right? Same when you learn the numbers: one, two, three, four. Same when yeah. you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So this is random. March. 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 April. May.
Teacher, I need to go out for the meeting a little bit because I am in the bar of the listening. Uh -huh. uh, you can stop. Oh. You can stop it. Okay. You don't hold and then come back. It's okay. okay. Thank you. Yes, yeah, no problem. June. June. <clears throat> July. Yeah. All right, this is just an exercise that is in the online book on the Cambridge August. platform. Uh, <laughs> actually, I didn't ask you at the beginning. I didn't ask you if you have a, September. Um, October. Sorry. Well, let me finish this. This is just a practice for you, so you can, well, you know the- October. He's here. I'm here. September. This is my mom. I was born in September. September. No, uh, what I was asking you is that you have, um, have you gone to the, have you tried to open the Cambridge platform? Okay. Or not? Uh, I don't open up now. You haven't opened it yet? Yes. Yeah, you need to use it. Perfect. Well, you, I think you are level, well, you are level two, so you need, you're not really familiar with present perfect. Uh, so it's something we will see in the future. Last time, last time with uh, Alejandra and Lupita, they are not here now. Well, they are not here yet. Maybe they come later. I don't know. It's late. It's 9.22, uh, we practice this lesson. We already practice the days of the month. Uh, I mean, the, month, the name of the months. Okay. We, don't have, we, don't, we don't wanna take more time with the days of the month, like first, second, third, mm -hmm. fourth, fifth, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember? <coughs> Cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers, the ending is different. Yes. As you see, there is a, except the, the two, uh, the, the first, first, not tears, like most of the people say, first, 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 first second, and third. Third, there's a TH, right? Third. Sure. Well, except these three numbers, okay. all of the, the ending of these numbers is with a th, right? Right. Like instead of saying four, like number four, we say four. 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 The ending is different. Fifth. 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 Uh -huh. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Like a little bit of air. You blow some air. Okay. You continue with the same. It's the same numbers, but just the end. The ending is different. The yeah. H. Mm -hmm. oh, by the way, um, Andrea, have you taken any of my pronunciation classes before or not? Have you been there? Mm -hmm. Well, I uh, guess you were invited. All the groups were invited. Uh, I hope I have it soon. What's about phonology? Uh, There's a phonology class for two, two days, two Tuesdays. So it's a good, I mean, it's a good option. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's practice this lesson, please. Uh, we are going to uh, hear, we're going to listen to Alicia and Dave. 
talking about a uh, birthday, right? They are going to celebrate mom's, their mom's birthday, and they are talking about that. Celebrations. Lesson A. Birthdays. One. Getting started. B. Listen and say the months and days of the month. Can you hear that? Um, it's your birthday. Circle the month. How yes. Is, how is, is it good or is it too low? Andrea, is the sound uh, okay? The audio? Yes, it's it's okay. You can hear, okay? Oh, good. Okay, Alicia. Uh, Alicia is, is a, the one who is going to be talking. Andrea, uh, if you have a book, please close your book. See, let's try to see if you can understand the conversation. Okay. Yeah, pay, attention, pay attention to the question. You have to listen for three, three events on the calendar, what they are going to celebrate that month. Okay, they have three, three events. You have to tell me, so you have to pay attention. Okay. Let's listen the first time. It's mom's birthday on the first, remember? She's going to be 50. Oh, that's right. What are you gonna get her? I'm just going to buy her something special like a necklace. Then it's mom and dad's anniversary on the 10th. Right. We usually give them something. We? You mean I do. Let's um, send them some flowers. Okay. Then it's my birthday on the 23rd. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get you the same thing you got me. Nothing. Okay, listen one more time, please. To remind to remind you, um, Andrea, that when we use uh, the days of the month, like today, today is the twenty first, right? Twenty first. We don't say twenty one. We say twenty. We use the cardinal number. You have to say that. Okay. How many events do you hear? 
Uh, two. Two. What do you hear? Uh, there a uh, uh, birthday and um, anniversary. Yes, we have an anniversary and the, okay, pay attention one more time. You can write because it's not two, it's three. So we have two, two birthdays. You need to, to write down the dates and one anniversary. Check the dates and write them down, please. Okay. Are you understanding, right? You are you okay with? Because uh, I don't know you yet. I don't know if you are okay with all uh, with my explanations. Mm. But I mean, uh, sometimes when you meet a new teacher, sometimes it's difficult, difficult to understand, or difficult because why? Because maybe you your old teacher you. Your former teacher, uh, they have a different technique or different pronunciation or different way to, uh, how to speak, um, different accent. I don't know. Uh, I'm just saying, I'm just saying that if you, if you, if you, you think you're not understanding, you are, I speak too slow or too fast or whatever, um, just let me know. In this class, like Dustin too, which sometimes we try to do it bilingual, you know. Why? Because it's just a low level. It's not a low level because it's a second one, the second level. That means you already you already finished le, uh, touch on, uh, level one, right? You have twelve lessons, so your level should be good enough to understand any basic sentence. Yes. 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 Okay. But just in case you don't understand, you don't get, you don't get it. You don't, you don't get what I say, what I mean. Just tell me. Can you repeat that? Or can you say it again? Okay, let's listen one more time. Okay. What are the three events on their calendar? Practice the conversation. It's mom's birthday on the 1st, remember? She's going to be 50. Oh, that's right. What are you going to get her? I'm going to buy her something special, like a necklace. Then it's mom and dad's anniversary on the 10th. <laughs> you get them something. We? You mean I do. Let's um send them some flowers. OK. Then it's my birthday on the 23rd. Yeah, I know. I'm going to get you the same thing you got me. Nothing. Okay, Andrea, question. Where, what are the three celebrations, the three events? Uh, two birthdays and anniversary. When anniversary. <clears throat> yes. Did you catch when is the first birthday? Uh, the first birthday is... Uh, their mom's birthdays. Yeah, it's their mom's birthday. What is she getting? What is her is, uh, her present? Her uh, uh, a necklace. Necklace. Yes. Necklace. What What about the anniversary? When uh, anniversary? I. It's mom's and mom's and dad anniversary, right? Yeah, I am. Do you, you win? Mm. I, I don't know. No? Okay, what about the second birthday? It's the it's date day. Day yes. to day, day. It's, it's on the 23rd. Yes. And the anniversary is on the 10th. Okay, give me one second, please. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Uh, we have another exercise here. Look at the picture of Claudia and Daniel. Choose true or false. You see the picture here? Okay. Yes. Claudia and Daniel are in a store. It's true or false? False. False, right? They are not in a store. There is a calendar on the wall. True. True. Excellent. These are just easy questions related to, to the to the topic. Like basic like basic questions. Okay, let's practice the reading, um, Andrea. You're Alicia, and I am Dave. Okay. Can you start, please? It's mom's birthday on the first, remember? She's going to be 16. Oh, that's right. What are you going to get her? Uh, I am going to buy her something special, like a necklace. Then it's mom, dad, mom and dad's anniversary on the team. Yes, anniversary. Anniversary. Anniversary, yes. Anniversary. We buy her something. All right, we usually give them something. We, you mean I do, you mean I do, let's um, send them some flowers. Uh, okay. Then it's my birthday on the 23rd. Yeah, I know. I am going to get to get you the same to you got me nothing. Yes, good, excellent. So in this lesson, as you see, we are going to learn future with the going to. Give me just one second here. The learning objective on this lesson is the, let's say, future. In the lesson, you find many examples of the going to. Yes, we have the first one. She's going to be 50. It's future. She's going to be future. Fifty. Oh, that's right. Okay. We have a question. With what, right? W is question or question information. Are you going to get her same future? What else do we have? I am going to get you the same. Yes, I'm going to buy her. Okay. I'm going to buy her something. I'm going to buy her something special. Right. Okay. We don't have anything here, not here. And then we have one sentence at the last, at the end. I'm going to get you. Kathy, are you back? Yes, teacher. I finished. You're continuing doing the, 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 the right? Huh? 
Are you continuing? Uh, are you still doing the exam, right? No, I finished. Are you finished? Finished. That was fast. <laughs> yeah, a little. Okay, so if you have the results, just take a picture, please, in the. Score. I send you. Okay. Oh, okay, I haven't checked it yet. Okay, thank you as it was. Well, we start already lesson A. You, okay. were, you were in here last class, but we start with Lupita, um, Alejandra, this class, this lesson. Just the beginning, the opener. Okay. Uh, we're going, uh, we, we continue today with the future, the going. I know okay. I get to do this, but this is just a reminder. We're going to, we use B. Going to. Well, uh, actually, we have the grammar part that's very important. We'll see it in a second. Alejandra is here. Hello, Alejandra. Hello, teacher. I'm sorry. I just finished an exam on the Italian platform. Oh, that's okay. Just thank you for being here. No problem. Okay, let's try to finish this exercise. We have you know, a letter A. Complete the conversation, use the conversation above to help you then practice with a partner. Okay, uh, Ali, uh, hold on. Let's see. Andrea, do you have any idea of letter A? Remember, we are talking, we are working on the going to, right? Mm. If we are talking, talking about the going to for future things, of course, we have to use am, is, or are. Then going to. That would be the rule. Depending on any, depending on the pronoun the subject. So I'm going to, he is going to, you're going to, etc. Okay. Let's just try to solve this exercise. And then we'll see the grammar. Okay, we have letter A. R, what are you? Okay, what are you? Can you say it complete? What are you going? What are you going to buy your mom for the next for him? What are you going to buy? So we need just to use going to. What are you going to buy your mom for next birthday? Let it be. Um, Kathy, can you do let it be? I think I'm going to get her some flowers. I'm going to get her some flowers. Alejandra, let it A. Um, do you always Bye. Mm. Well, this is this one is different. You just need an object there. 
So if you follow, uh, you follow the conversation, Alejandra, we are talking about mom, right? Mom. What is mom? She or he? She. 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 For she, we use her. Her. You use his. Him. Um. So in this case, do you always buy um hair? Buy her something on her birthday. That is also in the conversation, right? Yeah. Um. Angel Andrea. Yeah. Then no her. Yeah, and um, on mom and that anniversary, I always we have another him. I always send them some flowers. Yes, yes you need the direct object here. Send them. Excellent. Them. Excellent. Okay, so as you rem as I told we as I always tell you, grammar grammar is one of the most important in the in, in each lesson when you have grammar. Let's try to review. Uh, we have tutor with the going to and indirect objects. That's the, that was the exercise here. Okay, let's continue the page 30, 30 something. 35, give me one second. Are I you gonna buy good. any expensive gifts this year? Three. Are you going to buy any cards this month? Objects by kid. Send someone something. I'm gonna buy my mother something special. Alicia isn't going to give Dave anything. Let's send mom and dad some flowers. Indirect objects. You, him, her, us, them. 
I'm going to buy her something special. Alicia isn't going to give me anything. Oh, right. Yes. One second. Yeah, it sounds better. It was just the audio. Okay, this was the grammar, or this is the grammar, the grammar part. Um, about the going to and about indirect objects. Special uh, notice we have in, in the indirect objects, we have some verbs like buy, give, send someone something, right? Like this one, I'm going to buy my mother something special. Alicia isn't going to give they anything. So we use the object here in the middle after the verb. This is the object. Buy my mother something to give Dave anything, send mom and dad some flowers. The, the object in this case is after the verb. Yes. Um, then we have the indirect object. Well, in this case, we are using nouns here. These are nouns. So we have pronouns. For each pronoun, uh, as you know, let me write here. We have me, you, him, her, us, and them, right? For each one, you know, for I, it's me. For each uh, pronoun, you have an indirect object. And they, we have them. So I think you saw this in the in touchstone one, but this is just a reminder about the object pronouns. These are indirect object pronouns. I'm going to buy her something special because they are talking about moms, right? Moms, her, is she a woman? Alicia isn't going to give him, to give him anything. Like instead of saying Alicia isn't going to give Dave anything, we're using him. Dave is him. Same with my mother. My mother is her. Here, let's send mom and dad some flowers. Let's send them some flowers. Yes, okay. Do you have any questions about the grammar? Remember the grammar, we use a grammar with all the pronouns like I, you, he, she, etc. I, you, she, he, we, you, they. Uh, here in the lesson, we can contract, we can contract the, the, the be verb with I'm. Instead of saying I am, say I'm, I'm going to buy something special. I'm going to buy something special. You're going to get a present. She's going to be 50. You're going to send some flowers. They're going to, they're going to have a party. Uh, do you have any questions about grammar? No? No, teacher. No, all right. So we can con continue with the, the exercises. Okay, we have some scramble questions, some scramble sentences or questions. You have to arrange them, put it in the same sequence, same order. Like the first one, 
you have uh, <clears throat> you do anything special for your next birthday. Write questions with be going to using the prompts given. Then write your own answer using indirect object pronouns where necessary. Are you going to do anything special for your next birthday? So we are including, are you going, right? And we have the answer. This is gonna be your own answer. Then write your own answer using indirect object pronouns. Actually, my friends are going to buy me a dinner. Buy me a dinner. You have number two, your parents buy you something nice on your next birthday. Okay, are your parents to... going to? Are you going to buy? Yes. Are your parents going to buy you something nice? Are your parents? Are your parents buy going to buy going to buy on your next yes got the next birthday. Remember the pronunciation, birthday, birthday. Okay, great, excellent. Uh, number three. What? Um, what um your your friends remember we are working on questions we have what what you what are you, what are you, are you, are you what are your What, no, are you, what, what are your friends going to get for their birthday? Yeah, yes. What are your friends? Going to? To get you. Okay. Here you have what are your friends going to get you for uh let, hold on. What are your friends to get? What are your friends going to get you? Doesn't sound good here. Hold on. Say one more time. Uh, 
Andrea? What are you going, what are your friends going to? Get you for you, for their birthdays. Oh, uh, Kathy? Any idea about this? Uh, what are you? Um, no veo las demás opciones. I don't see. What are you going to? Okay. What are you going to? Of course, after going to, we need the verb, right? What are you going to get? Let let's let's pay attention to the to the way the formula or the way how we construct construct or build the sentences. We have the W question, right? This case okay. is what the the question form of verb is are first. What are you going? Hold on. Your your friends for their birthday. Yeah. What are you going? Are you going to uh, get get to your friends? for their birthday. 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 Excellent. All right, what about number four? Um, are, um, this case that you and your classmates is our, your teacher is, is, and Cecilia. Mm -hmm. Okay. You and your classmates send your teacher our birthday. Remember, it always is the question, the question form or the question where what or are. It is a yes are or no question. You going, are. are you and your classmates going to send your teacher a birthday card? Are you and your classmates? Going to send your teacher a birthday. Birthday girl. Alejandra, birthday. 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 Not like birthday. Bird. Don't say birthday. Birthday. Birthday car. Yes. Birthday. Excellent. Okay, let's continue with this. Number five. Uh, Angela, Angela, um, Andrea, I was changing the name. Andrea. Mm. Do you have any idea about this one? Well. When are you buying birthdays? What gift you buy? What gift are, when are you going to buy? What gift 
Are you going to buy? We have two questions here. First and the second one, right? No. Uh, entonces sería... When are your parents' birthday? When are your parents' birthday? What gift going to buy? Yes, what gift are you going to buy? What gift are you going to buy? Okay, excellent. Number six. <laughs> um, what, what are you? No, uh, and let's see, what are you going to? What are you going to buy your parents for their anniversary? Yes. What are you going to buy your parents for their, their, their anniversary? Your anniversary. Your anniversary. What are you going to buy your parents? For your anniversary? For their anniversary. The anniversary. For their anniversary. Anniversary. Let's focus on the um, here in the anniversary. It will be the second syllable. Good, excellent, excellent. Good job. Let's continue, please. Okay, let's, let's, let's keep uh, practicing. You have the script here on your right. It's mom's birthday on the first, remember? She... You gotta choose one of these, please. Yes, can you see the page? Yes. All right, so you need to choose, you need to choose one of these, remember the, depending on the subject and the pronoun, we have she. It's mom's birthday on the first, remember, she. She's going to, going to she going to. Yes. Oh, that's right. What are you going to get here? I am going to. I'm going to. I'm going. To. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. I'm going to buy here something special, like a necklace. Then it's mom's and dad's anniversary on the 10th. All right, we usually give them something. We, you mean I do. Let's mm, send them, send them some flowers. Okay, then it's my birthday on the 23rd. 
Yes, I know. I. I. Yeah, I'm going to. I am going to. I'm going to get you the same thing you got me. Yes, nothing. Nothing. It was almost the same exercise. Use, uh, well, you have to be able uh, to know the way the, the rules or the form, the form and the use of be going to. Okay, give me just one second, please. It's 10, 11, we still have a few more minutes. Uh, we have like, we have we finished lesson A today. Remember, remember, uh, ladies, we are trying to mix or to combine the online book with the actual book, the PDF book, so we can have more activities and more exercises. You know, like the, to reinforce the knowledge. Sometimes it's more difficult. But let's let's pay attention, please. Grammar, future, with be going to, statements. The future means after now. Later today. Tomorrow. Next week. Next year. In 2050. You can use be going to plus verb to talk about the future. I'm going to have a party. Use the verb be before going to. I'm going to have a party. Affirmative statements with be going to are a subject plus a form of be, plus going to, plus verb, plus the rest of the statement. She's going to have a party. Remember, use the correct form of be. I'm going to have a party. You're going to have a party. She's going to have a party. He's going to have a party. We're going to have a party. They're going to have a party. To make negative statements with be going to, you add not after be. I'm not going to have a party. You're not going to have a party. She's not going to have a party. He's not going to have a party. We're not going to have a party. They're not going to have a party. You can also use isn't and aren't, especially after names and nouns. Marcus isn't going to have a party. My parents aren't going to have a party. Okay, let's see. Can you remember the rules for be going to? Choose the correct words to complete the sentences. To talk about the future, you can use expressions like later today and you have the three options there, like yesterday, next week, or last month. Next week. Next week. Next week, yes, correct. The verb form after be going to is there. 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 Affirmative statements after he, she, it use. Uh, is, 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 is. The pronoun is. Yeah. 
they're going to have a party to make this negative at not before or after before 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 uh, no after Uh, after. After how or uh, after? After. Which after what? They are going to have a party. Where would you put? After. 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 Like they are not going to have a party, right? You can use these negative forms to of be especially after names or nouns. Yes, I'm an aren't. Yes, I'm an aren't. Elaine, Yes, I'm going to call it. Grammar. Future with be going to statements listen and repeat i'm not going to buy something special i am not going it's to special. buy something special let's do both i'm going to buy something i'm going to buy something special I'm not going to buy something special. Okay, I don't hear you. I'm not going to buy something special. I'm not, not going, going to, to buy something, something special. special. One is positive, three months is negative. You're going to get a present. You're ready? You're going yeah, to get a present. The point of this practice is you can, you can read it faster uh, with no hesitation, more fluent. One more time. She's going to be 50. She's going to You're be going 50. She's going to be 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 50. We're going to send some flowers. We're going, We're to, going send to send some send flowers. Some flowers. We're going to some flowers. Oh. We're not going to send some flowers. We're not going We're to, not send, going to some send some flowers. Some flowers. Yes. They're going to have a party. They're, They're going to have a party. Have a party. They're not going to have a party. They're not going to have a party. Marcos isn't going to have a party. Marcos isn't going to have a party. My parents aren't going to have a party. My parents aren't going to have a party. Just remember, in some cases, like when you movies or you listen to some songs or something you will hear like I'm gonna like here this is just for conversation I'm gonna buy something special Instead of saying, I'm going to buy something special. I'm going to buy something special. Why? Because, you know, when we speak, we have a, we, we talk to people, sometimes it's faster, you know. I'm going to buy something special. You're going to get a present. You're going to get a present. You're going to get a present. She's going to be 50. She's going to be 50. She's going to be 50. We're gonna be, we're gonna send some flowers. We're gonna send some flowers. 
it's just a different way <clears throat> to use the be going to in uh, conversation or, or in spoken, gonna, gonna. So most of the time you will hear gonna instead of going to. Going to is a little bit more <clears throat> for reading or for formal. So you must learn, you must learn this. Okay, we're going to work on the speaking natural. Going to. Uh, this is about pronunciation, remember? <clears throat> What are you going to do tonight? <clears throat> are you going to the movies? I'm going to stay home. Well, it should be here. You have to listen and repeat the sentences about. It's gonna be first. And then we have the second one. Page 35, three, speaking naturally, going to, B, listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then ask a partner the questions. One, are you gonna send anyone flowers this year? Two, are you going to buy any expensive gifts this year? Three. Are you going to buy any cards this month? Are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Five. Who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay, uh, as you pay attention to this, there is a little bit difference from one sentence to another. Some of those say going to, right? Like this one, are you going to send any, anyone flowers this year? And the others, and, and some others, they have gonna. So you have to tell me which one. Pay attention one more time, please. Page 35, three. Speaking naturally, going to B, listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then ask a partner the questions. One, are you gonna send anyone flowers this year? Two, are you gonna buy any expensive gifts this year? Three, are you going to buy any cards this month? Four, are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Five, who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay, let's see. Number two, well, number one is already, it's done. Are you going to send some flowers this year? Number two, are you gonna buy? Are you going to buy any expensive gift this year? Number three, 
what do we have on number three, Andrea? Are you gonna to any car? Are you gonna any cars this month? Are you gonna? Yes. What's the verb? Teacher, the number two used gonna and the number three used going to. Okay, number two, are you gonna buy something? Are you gonna buy any expensive gift this year? Uh huh, yeah. And the number three, number three is, are you going to buy any cars this month? Right. Number three was a verb, Kati. Are you going? Are you going to buy? All right. What about number four? Are you gonna? Are you going to? And going to or gonna? Going to. What's the verb? What is the verb? To. Say it again, Andrea. Um, are you going to get any? Are you going to get anyone's birthday this month? Number five. What do you have for number five? Who are you going to? When I do, okay, let's listen to this, all of them together. Page 35. Three, speaking naturally. Going to. B, listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then, ask a partner the questions. One, are you going to send anyone flowers this year? Two, are you going to buy any expensive gifts this year? Three, are you going to buy any cards this month? Four, are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Nine. Who are you going to spend your next birthday with? Okay. So this is uh, number four. Who are you going to? It's different, right? Number four, what do you hear? Who are you going to? Number four. Okay, well, are you nice. going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Yes, to celebrate. But that, that's number five, no? Mm, no, it's no, number, no. It's four. The number four. five is pen. Just pen. Celebrate. 
Number yeah. four. How are you gonna spend your next? Spend. Gonna spend, right? Gonna spend, yes. Page 35. Make sure it's correct. Three. Speaking naturally. Going to. B. Listen and complete the sentences with the missing words. Then ask a partner the questions. One. Are you going to send anyone flowers this year? Two. Are you going to buy any expensive gifts this year? Three. Are you going to buy any cards this month? Four. Are you going to celebrate anyone's birthday this month? Five. Who are you going to spend your next birthday with? All right, great. All right, those are the, all the exercises about the going to. Uh, questions? No, teacher. Formula, the rules of the grammar, anything? Uh, yes. Um, Andrea, if you want, to, if you are ready to, to take the exam about unit one, two, and three, I can send it to you right now on the Zoom chat. Okay. You are not sitting in the WhatsApp group. I need a message to teacher Haru. Okay. Because you can watch the group. All right, cool. Uh, let me give me one second, please. Are you able to see the exam, the link, Andrea? Mm -hmm. You have the, mm -hmm. the link? The password in the in the here in Zoom. Yes. And you, it's right there. You can start doing it now. Whenever you finish, just let me know. It's just, it's just to prove uh, or to see what you have learned so far. Try to do it whenever you have time, now or later. Okay. Okay. Well. 1033 ladies, thank you so much for your time. And I hope to see you tomorrow at same at nine. All right. Have a wonderful Bye. day. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.